That's some nasty shit. <laughs> I want to check out that staff. It's a, it's a staff with a human hand on it. I'll use a uh, detect magic on it. All right. And like, what kind of aura does that give me? Um, you noticed. Well, she had a lot of wands on her, but yeah. the quarterstaff is just a masterwork quarterstaff, it seems. Um, but you find a potion of cure moderate. Um, a wand of magic missile. Castle Quadra level will take third. that potion. Castle level third, 44 charges. God damn it. <laughs> oh. Wand of Ray of Enfeeblement with 28 charges. Is that what she cast on? No, no she cast Wrong. Bestow no. Curse. She That's cast true. Bestow okay. Curse on the, on and Contagion as well. But um, a Wand of Vampiric Touch with 33 charges. Technically, you all don't know what she cast on uh, Coral. Oh, okay. Um, Master Work quarter staff and a spell book with containing which do you, you don't even use spell books do you no yeah, she can't but... learn anything from them either all right so don't worry about what spells that they have i guess oh shit but we uh, can sell said... that sucker yeah. you said contagion matt yeah. yeah uh all right then I, I just looked at the spell here. Um, onset period does not apply. Disease is contracted immediately. Oh, nice. I'll give you yeah, that contagion right a, now, then. Basically, yep. inflict minor wounds as this type of... Uh, it kind of goes along with that. All right. Um, so, uh, take... Just really, qu really quick. What was the Wand of Vampiric Touch charge-wise? Uh, 33, I believe. Alright. Awesome. Uh I might want to know what's in that spell book just because when All we right. sell it you get you get half half off and everything. Or you can sell for half price and whatnot. Okay. Um Kevin. Mm hmm Take three strength damage. <laughs> And make an additional fortitude save, DC 18. Very nice. Congratulations, you are not permanently blinded. <laughs> well. Wow. Yay for that! It is, uh, you, you, it seems that, uh, you have blinding sickness. Alright. Uh. Hmm. I only have three first. So, hey, Coral. I, I this is sounds weird, but I actually have remove disease as a spell now, just because of my archetype. Do you want me to try and cast it on you? Uh, well, I mean, regardless, I'm not, I'm not going any further in here until I get a, a day of rest and, and prep. So, uh, that's it's up to you. Um, I, I, I'm not gonna go down in there with uh, this chance of me freezing. So, well, it's it's a curse, right? He, 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 he means he he wants to rest. I want to remove it. And you have remove curse, or... remove curse? Yeah, I do. Oh, let me check this thing real quick. <laughs> oh, you do have remove curse. Very nice. <sighs> All right. He doesn't have it prepared. That's the thing. Yeah. Right. Did any of us get cured? Or what? No. I'm just curious if anybody cured while I was gone. No. No All one right. has cast any healing. Do we want to hook a brother up with a cure light wounds, yo? No, oh, just uh, Roxy's kind of hurt too. Ten points back to everybody. Nice. It, take, it takes Kevin a few rounds to try and cast that. <laughs> <laughs> As he starts up, and then his hands fall back down on his sides. And eventually, no, he's, able, no. he's able to do it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, I, I mean, you guys are welcome to explore, but I'm, I'm not, 
I'm not going any further. That bitch got you I'm, good. Hope I'm not, uh... I'm not going anywhere without the, our box of band-aids. Okay. And she remembers Super Sin Spawn from three books ago. Oh, I mean, two books ago, and how he almost killed Quadruel and Roxas. And <laughs> that, <laughs> that, was just a, that was just bad luck of rolls. That's all that was. I mean, we can we can set up camp out here. Here, uh... How long do I need for spellages? It's like eight hours or something like that. What time is it right now? It was um, day 39, I think it was still like midday or something. Probably, yeah. that sounds right. Oh, you guys can uh, clean up this room and sleep in here if you want. No. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to use her bed for sure. That's All just, right. wow. Damn, what level do uh, does the cleric get uh, remove curse at? It's a third level spell. Oh, okay. So you got it like level 6? Uh, five, level five. Level five. five. Yeah, clerics and wizards get God theirs. Damn it! So I wasn't too too concerned. I I was really hoping I should. Ah, son of a bitch. Did you have to roll a dice to figure out which disease he contracted via contagion? No, it just it just falls. It told you which one. Yeah, it well, it contracts one of the following diseases. I just chose. Ah, uh, okay. It's fun. Okay, so we're going to put um, Corral in uh, segregation for sure. He's going to have his own room tonight. Yeah, Corral's falling down with uh, diseases <laughs> and uh, uh, curses. Uh, Rocks, Rocks, doesn't Rocks, care because I'm immune to disease, so I'll cuddle with him all night if he wants me to. But other than that... He's also everyone... cursed. Is yeah. that... I'll spend one hour each day in quiet contemplation. Oh, that's each day. All right. So, yeah, I mean, I'm. You spend until the next day. Such a good beer. Yeah, I'm not. Uh... The garden's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you could read that backwards. This is probably that I've been doing like pick ones, mix sixes, and stuff like that. This is the best one I've I mean, found so I'm far. I'm a bartender. Of course, I recognize beers by their labels. That is a good point. All right. So I, I, I think I want to head out of the house somewhere. Uh, where we can keep it in sight, but um, I want to be a, a little bit enough away and out. Uh, Poor and... Corral. Yeah, Corral, Corral's grumpy and sneaky, <laughs> and he doesn't want to talk to anybody. He's, he's got he's, he's grumpy because there's this filth of evil on him, like beneath his layer of skin. Ugh. Where are we headed to right now? Where's everybody I'm, moving? I'm I'm just heading out of the house. I don't want to sleep in the house, but I'm I'm. Corral's done. So you're going to try to go in these thicket branches down here, or...? Yeah, around in, in that area. Alright. Mm. Where are you at? I can't even see you on the map. Tangle oh, okay. says we should move farther away. From the house. We are still too close. I don't want to... I don't want to lose sight of it. I don't want anything coming out of there that... I think we should still keep a watch posted on it. But uh, you just gotta give me a little bit of time. Well, well, As you guys are walking out, out you hear shouts coming from uh, the house. Mammy, I heard some racket. Yeah. Oh boy. I can get it. Broxy and Roxas are gonna go back in, and, and the uh, the house starts to become a stir. Roxy uh, says, "I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go depopulate that place." Her eyes start glowing, and she she casts invisibility on herself, and she's just gonna buff Roxas up into a monster. All right. Uh, well, Here, I can I can come too. I'll I'll shoot a uh I'll shoot a bull strength as part of domain on uh I'll do that on quadruple. But I uh, thank you. Carol's crossing his arms and pouting. Uh, let's see. Mirror image, invisibility on my, me. Yeah, mirror image. Um, protection from evil. And, uh, another false life. Tangle is, is torn between staying with Crawl or going in with the rest of the party. She doesn't think it's a good idea to leave Crawl out here completely alone. Shalilu says I'll stand guard for uh for Crawl. 
Tangle thinks Shalu Sha Shabubu and Hank Shabubu. And heads and heads back in with the party, looking somewhat sickened. <laughs> Still kind of green sits. around the gills. Roxas just splits up into eight tigers. Jesus. Hey, wait. Someone check up, uh... Check that off for me. I, th I think that's... That doesn't look right. I think it's a D4 for mirror image. If that's what you're okay, yeah, it's, for. it's a D4. My bad. <laughs> okay, that four is, four is good. That's, that's good, yeah. Four images right on. Oh, man. Come on, Matt. Wake up. All right. So, where do you want to start? Uh, uh, let's just go back inside. Just go back to the hallway where we were. Or funnel them into this room if we can. That's where I am. Alright. Let me look how many things there are and at the house here. Quadro's got Roxy's back for sure. She's invisible, don't worry about her. Well okay. Alright. Oh, those... I know she's probably with Roxas, so I'll follow Roxas. Those three are dead. Oh yeah. The um Never mind, that's a different, different <laughs> <laughs> And the is Come Mammy's on, room. pass for human, pass for human, man. Mammy's room. And I bathe. <laughs> <laughs> How okay. long does haste last? Uh, it probably would have run out. Yeah, it's, it's only gone. seven rounds. Okay. All right. All right. Go. Roxas is now a monster. Actually, there's that. If you don't hear some, Jesus. There's, oh, there we go. There's some. That's lame. Yeah, you guys actually just killed these guys. They're they're way low level. You buff them up way big. You kill three of the. You see three Ogre King fighters come down, and you kill all three of them. That's fair. Yeah, cause there's. We probably would. Yeah, they're 25, <laughs> 25 hit points each. You know? So it's like one hit to kill them. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. The scale. You smelt them. I, I'm sorry, Coral, I didn't see this. So while they're fighting in here, you're having this this conversation with Shalalu. Unfortunately, it, it kind of works out of a... Uh, so really, what do you... Seeing him. <laughs> <laughs> go go ahead, speak it out. I'll role play this. Uh, it's, that's all right. That's all right. I'll just screw it up. Let's talk about Quadro's penis. Yep. No, I, I want to see some role play. Come on. Let's see it. No, I'm good. Carl I'm just playing around while they're fighting. That's fine. Um. <laughs> well, in that case, then. Uh... <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. She she just giggles and gives you a, a, a stark look, Coral, and she <laughs> mutters under her breath, fucking dwarves. <laughs> well, I I wasn't going to be the first to offer, but if you are, I, I, I'm not opposed, my lass. I'm, I'm just saying, let me, let me correct this first, and then... Uh, she pulls an like, arrow like, from her move, quiver and move, points move, it at stop you. Stop for a second, stare awkwardly. Come be back. careful. Hey, Matt. Move, 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 move. Be, be, care, be careful, I can still hit you without my hands falling to my sides and losing all ability to fight. Uh, <laughs> she... Flares at her quickly. All right. Sense if, if she, how she, serious she is or not. She's pretty serious. If, she's getting pretty offended at this, so if you don't stop <laughs> egging her off, she's going to put an arrow in between your eyes. Agron, Agron. I'm not an enemy to make class. And neither am I. Did you see what I did to that Hydra? If you can't poke a little bit of fun, perhaps the roading adventure life isn't for you. 
I travel alone normally. No, yep, normally she does. <laughs> she figured that out a long I, time. I don't, just... I don't deal with dwarven humor. <laughs> well, clearly. You gotta lighten up and soften up. I mean, come on. Let's be honest. If, if I didn't have a greater me. reason for being here, I would A greater reason, please. please. And no, I'm not just talking about him. <laughs> I wasn't thinking greater reason with him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Alright. Uh... Oh, wow. Okay. So you and the fighting is done. You all finish up with those guys. Um, they're you know they they were some ugly motherfuckers that you fought, like usual. You know it's it seems that this inbred family is just that very inbred and very nasty and obviously dealt in necromancy. Fantastic. Well, they used to. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a problem anymore. Well, yeah, she's dead now. We haven't... I mean, we we still get the feeling there's more to explore down there. Yeah, there's or... upstairs and the downstairs and all yeah. that stuff. All right. And, like, all so these rooms gonna... that are blacked out still. Oh, okay. That's what I was wondering. Okay, so Tangle heads on in and heads to this door and rolls a perception check for traps and sound. Yep, there's a trap. If, uh, if Tango you don't says, know yep, what it there's is, there's a trap. But you see some type of wire and some type of hinge connected to the uh, the hinges on the door, and if you were to open it, something would likely thrust into your torso. Okay, so Tangle attempts to disable this. She kind of goes like this with her fingers, and you know, like this, and kind of warms them up a little bit. Then she motions over here to Quadrul and says, right. "Shh, I'm working." Disable 25. DC 25, you do oh. not disable. Quadra um, takes a five foot step back. <laughs> <laughs> on your attempt to disable the device, you trigger it. Meanwhile, somewhere in the distant future, many miles away, a man winces and says, I hope it isn't a log. Nope, it's a, <laughs> a large scythe. <laughs> uh, comes down the door swings open and a large swat um here's the door right and and uh the large scythe swings from the roof oh, into okay. your person or it tries to 26 versus your ac oh shit. i'd imagine that is a hit yeah i don't know what quadra gets sprayed with blood <laughs> right down the hallway oh, and uh the 22 still. damage yeah. Wow. wow. Quadra rushes up to her and catches her as she falls. But it is uh it yeah. is triggered and it does not automatically reset, so uh you can now sidestep it if you wish. And okay. it, I will reveal this area. Tangle yeah. falls into Quadrule's arms and oh. <sighs> He kinda would he would swing her and protect her and he'd swing her to the south of him. Okay. Close to where he knows Roxy is so she could heal him. Yeah, this... just like that. This dark room stinks of putrefying flesh. Eight wooden cheer chairs with grinning bleached skulls crowding their backs circle a monstrous four-foot-high oak dining table covered with a crude tabletop tablecloth of crinkly human leather. The centerpiece of the dining table, a rotting human head, its stringy red hair thankfully draped over its mutilated face serves as a gathering place for a host of buzzing, bloated flies. Fun. I'm going to kind of check out the room here now that I know that trap is not an issue. Do I see anything else I should be concerned with? Any threats? He's a, he's a 28. Yeah, 28 there will. For what again? Uh, just kind of, I'm surveying the room for, for additional traps, but mostly... You see, see. Um, you see similar traps on these two doors to the uh, right to the east okay. um, but it looks like since you're on the inside there's a little switch some levers that you can uh, press that can disable them okay is that a disabled device check or just a nope, manual it's just 
Just the bypass. You just All right. pull the I'm lever use and the bypass on both of the traps. All right, and the uh, traps look like they are unactivated now, and you can open the doors back freely. Out and see how Tangle's doing, and I ask her, "Are you okay?" No, I am not okay. There is a, a large cut down my body, so <laughs> I'm feeling unwell at the moment. <laughs> All right. Well, we can always go back and hang out with Coral. I know he's missing our company right now. Oh. <laughs> Damn dwarf. <laughs> all right, I I say, Damn, all this I hate say, for Crawl came on strong. There was a, <laughs> I say there was a couple more traps, but uh, I disabled them. There's also a door right I'm here to your left, Quadrule. <laughs> what was Angle that? Murmurs, the door. Good job. Okay. Right there to uh, your left. As well. I'm going to put my ear up to the door because we've been chatting. I've been chatting outside yeah. the store. Do I have to? Whoa, yeah. holy shit. Do I hear anything on the other side? Um, Let me see what door that is. That is A7. <laughs> What's an A7? Nobody knows. Ah, oh, God, you hear man. nothing. All right, sounds good. Um, I say, yeah. Uh, do I see any traps? Nope, no oh, traps. Well. You're good. All right. I'm gonna stand to the side until uh, Tank to get ready, and I'm just gonna. I, does the door open in? I guess. Yes. All right, then I'll open the door and kind of push it in and just wait and listen. This small chamber is used now and then to store refuse and other remnants from the various antics the Grawls get up to. Among the refuse here seem to be tiny bones, tiny girl bones of every child someone here has birthed. A grisly oh. testament to the overabundance of menfolk in the Grawl family. It really seems in China. Oh. It seems like Mammy <laughs> Killed all the her girl ch children. Yeah. Oh. As she likes to uh, m mess around with her sons. Yeah. A little ah! bit of incest. Yeah. A little bit of incest going on here. Yeah. Um. So from the the remains that we've got, I mean, I'm start I'm cataloging what I've seen. Obviously, um, have we seen like any ranger remains or any? Not yet. Uh, not yet? Okay. So, and this is obviously... Can you reveal the room? Yep. Yeah. Cool. Um, is there uh, anything to be found? Of any worth in this room? Nothing at all. Unless you Besides count dead, dead baby um, ogrekin girl bones. Oh. I walk back out and I say, you don't want to go in. <laughs> and then I'm going to walk up. Is there a door here at the north? Yes. I'm um, gonna kind of put my ear up to that, and I'm just kind of waiting for Tangled to get back up on her feet after she gets healed. Okay. Um, um, do I hear no anything? No one on has that side healed. No one has healed Tangled, so that's why she's still sitting there. Oh, yeah. there. Okay. All right. You notice you... nothing. Oh. Um, notice nothing. Yeah. You so open Tangle's it? up again, wobbly, uh, but okay. I didn't heal Tangle. I was doing a perception check on this score. Oh, never mind. Ah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Um, uh, take off those hit loading. Yeah. So you're doing perception check on that door. You notice nothing on that door. Um, Roxy, and same goes for you, Quadrule, for this door. Okay. But Tangle's yeah, got I'm enough gonna, hit. I'm going to say, I'm going to tell Quadrule, um, me and Roxas will go in this way if you go in first and give us, give us a trouble sign. Sounds good, but I don't think Tangle's on her feet yet. She's still feeling kind of rough. Oh. Rock, Roxy's pointing to the to the to the bird scorch mark. She's like, I can. Oh, okay. She, Roxy goes over and hands Tangle a potion of cure moderate wounds. You've got, you've got the wand I, I, still. I know, but I can only use that with I. It only has two charges left, and I need to expend third level spells to use it. T Tangle's like, I'm fine, I'm fine. I, I, I'm, I've, I'm walking it off. We have plenty of potions. Just okay. Yeah, plus yeah, also guys. she has, she has 36 hit points left. Uh, yeah, 36 hit points left, so she's all right. See, I guess. Okay. just so everyone knows, Quadro's only got 49. So if you can see his bar at that, you're like, oh, Quadro's just fine, but he's got like 20 hit points left. He'll fucking die on one hit. Just putting it out there. All right, I'm gonna go back to the door. Being a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You, you know, uh, you know how much damage you do. I mean, uh, it's ridiculous. You have yeah. to have a weakness so, somewhere. So, Tangle heads over That's here. True. She's uh, 
She leans tiredly up against that door and listens. All right. You hard for traps and you notice nothing. No, okay. no traps. No, nothing. Um, Quadril, do you go through <laughs> this <laughs> this door? Yeah, I do open the door. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Tangle to uh, I... stand back because we're letting Mega Cat go in first. I am okay. dragon style, okay. and Tangle. I open the door. The this uh, we'll do uh, Quadril's action first here. Um, this filthy bedroom contains little more than a lumpy mattress, heaps of twigs, mud, and hopefully little else. Although the stink of sewage in the room Ugh. indicates otherwise. Dozens of humanoid fetishes crafted of bits of leather, straw, corn husks, twigs, and bones hang from cords throughout the room. Give me a perception check, Quadril. All right, you're good. And then this other room, you guys, um, do you open it? Yeah, we're sending, we're, sending, we're sending the big old cat through. <laughs> oh, shit, sorry, guys. Oh. No, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, Bless yeah, you. So Thank I'm you. just going to be like, God damn it, one more, one more door I should have just left closed. And then I kind of step back and then I come mm -hmm. back into the room. Yeah. Um. So, oh, okay. you, you open this door. And you see two children. Well, Roxas sees two nasty-looking children. One is hairless and a pale, bloated thing with malformed, stumpy legs and a wide mouth filled with ragged teeth. He uh, seems stumpy legs. Yeah. Um, he keeps saying that he wants to dance the skull jig with Mammy sometime. As soon as some priest comes and heals his legs. Um, he seems to have a brother here as well. His limbs bend in other strange ways. But he's blessed not to have any other hideous deformity. And almost looks human. So um, you see two of these guys as they turn around and notice this big tiger. And their jaws drop. <laughs> and... Uh, Roxas can kill them in one fell swoop if he wants. Roxy's gonna, she's gonna, she doesn't really. I don't know. She's she always has a little reservations with just ordering a slaughter, but in this case, these these clearly aren't good creatures. No, so. they're not. So <laughs> they're she's dancing with Roxas. human skulls she's, in their hands. Uh, she's gonna since she's invisible, she's gonna grab Tangle's head and make it nod you back and forth. And Roxas will t interpret that as get in there and take out anything in there. All right, Roxas. Tangle's head goes like this, and then she's like, "What in the?" <laughs> the skewers. Uh, they they skewer. Roxas skewers the children's heads off in one fell swoop, and they die. <laughs> no. Oh, we should have had a second prank. No, 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 Just no, no. Oh. No. <laughs> um, so I'm basically, not, this this seemed to be a playpen of sorts. The simple room is strewn with toys, some of carved wood or bone, while others appear to be a little more than partial animal carcasses. Old blood stains mark the wall. Some resemble crude, childlike paintings and feature images of dis dismembered horses, a dis ridiculous grinning horned devil tossing children off a cliff, and a big lake with a black reptilian monster sprouting tentacles from its back. Bookshelves rest the across rest against the wall, but instead of tomes, they hold skulls of all shapes and sizes. So a lovely little playpen. Roxy, Roxy, Roxy says, I don't think there was any chance of helping them like we did with Frank. Sorry. Yeah, yeah no, they, they're, they're children now. Supposed, they're not, they're not babies. Joking. They're they're like children. They're already playing with, with, uh, with human oh, heads yeah. and such. I have no problem with it at all. All right. So that's the ground floor discovered. Uh, I was just curious. Was there anything remotely useful in there? Negative. Nothing right. whatsoever. All right. So Roxas is gonna just kind of crawl. Back. All right. So we have a staircase up and a staircase down. That is correct. I stay. We we head towards the basement. That seems like a decent place to put many prisoners. Assuming the 
you know, the Rangers aren't dead already. Yeah. Alright. <laughs>